The yeas are 223, the nays are 205, the bill is passed. The House voted to legalize abortion nationwide on Friday in response to the Supreme Court's decision last month to throw out the federal protections under Roe versus Wade. Bottom line, there is no room for politicians in our wombs. It is abortion for any reason at any stage of pregnancy until birth. It's not the will of the American people. The House measure would actually expand Roe and prevent abortion bans earlier than 24 weeks. But it has little chance of becoming law. Democrats don't have the votes to get it through the Senate. Without it, abortion rights and restrictions are up to the states. About half are moving to block or severely limit the procedure. The states are going to adjust. They're going to determine what the, their citizens want, and they're going to make judgments on it uh, and, uh, and govern accordingly. And that's... Uh, to me in line with the Constitution and what the Supreme Court has said. The House also passed a bill that would prohibit punishment for doctors performing the procedure outside their home state and block laws banning travel to another state for abortion. Is this the United States of America where Republicans in these states can say to women, you cannot cross state lines for your own good health? House Democrats are planning more votes on reproductive rights this summer, including one next week that would guarantee the right to birth control. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.